Have you ever wanted to rename all of the files in a folder? Or how about listing all the file information or file names? Hi, this is Randy with Excel for Freelancers. And today, I'm going to show you an incredible solution that uses Excel VBA to do just that and a whole lot more. What used to take hours will now take seconds when we put VBA automation to the test in working with files inside a folder. It's going to be a great training, so let's get started. All right, I really appreciate you joining us here. This is going to be a VBA basic lesson, meaning if you are new to VBA or you're just getting started, this is going to be a great training for you because we're going to walk you step by step through every line of code so that you can fully understand how to completely automate the process of working with files in a folder, regardless of how many files there are. Having this kind of knowledge of automating your files can save you hundreds of hours and lots of stress just by learning these simple macros. We'll be able to rename files, move specific files. I've got this great cheat sheet here that's gonna let you understand and work with these so that you can take this with you. You can download this cheat sheet along with the macros that we're gonna be creating together simply by clicking the link down in the description. Just look for the word download. Right below that is a link. All you need to do is click that, put your name and email, and I'm going to get this template sent right over to you. If you do like these trainings, I create them twice a week. In fact, these VBA basic trainings are every single Saturday and every Tuesday we do comprehensive application development. So I do hope you will subscribe and click the notification icon bell. I'll make sure to let you know when I create these trainings and I've already got hundreds over 400 videos covering every type of VBA and application development got thousands of hours available to you right here on YouTube. If you want to go beyond that and you want to learn faster, I do have an incredible ultimate VBA developers library for you. That's got over 500 macros that will 10 X your application development and allow you to create them much faster, much easier with less headaches because I've done all the hard work for you by assembling all of the macros you're going to need into a single library. So I hope you grab that. That's the ultimate developers VBA library. And I'm I'm going to include the link down below. All right, let's get started on this training because I've got a lot to cover. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a folder and I've got a folder here on my desktop and we're going to work with that. Let's just say use this AI pictures. And so I've got a bunch of pictures in here. I've got a few other file types in here and I might want to do some things with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to write a simple macro that's going to allow us to loop through all the files in this specific folder. And to do that, I want to grab at least the file path. So I'm going to select here and I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to keep that on the clipboard. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go into VBA. Well, let's say we're going to work on sheet one here. Let's say we want to list all of the file names in that folder and we want to put them on column A and we want to have a macro to do that. So to do that, we can insert a shape to run the macro. We could run it directly from VBA, but we can do that. We can just call this list all files. So that's very, very easy. And we'll just do that. So we want to list those files so that we can quickly be able to see that. All right. So now that we have the button, what I want to do is I want to write a macro that we're going to attach to this button. And so to do that, what we're going to do is I'm going to go into the developer tab right here. If you don't have the developer tab, you can click on any tab you want here. Just click customize a ribbon. You're going to see that developer right here. Make sure you select on that. And that's going to make sure that that developer tab is visible. Once we click on that, I'm going to go over to Visual Basic. Alt F11 is the shortcut that's going to get you there. And it's going to, go to open up your project and it's going to look something like this. You may or may not have the properties here. Properties, of course, is available right here to show or hide that. F4 is a great shortcut for that. What we want to do is we want to create a module. We're going to write our macro inside a module. So to do that, one way is to do insert and then module. Now, if you have a lot of modules, it's a good idea to rename that. So I always like to do that so you know what's inside the module. And we'll just call it file loop macros. You can call it anything you want. That way, when you develop larger projects, you know exactly what type of macros are inside this module. We can close that out. We're going to write our first macro. And the idea is I want to loop through all of the files in the folder. And let's say I just simply want to list the names and I want to put them in column A. So we're going to write a subroutine called sub loop through files in folder. We can create more description, but I get it. So we're just going to write a comment loop through all of the files in a specific folder and list the file names. 
This is a relatively simple macro. We're going to dimension some variables, two variables. One is the folder path. That's the folder path that we copy to the clipboard. And it's going to be a string variable. So we're going to write in string. We also want the file name. Now the file name is just simply the name of the file, like picture101.png. That is also going to be a string variable. Now what we want to do, let's say we're going to loop through these particular files and we want to store them inside the rows in column A. So it's going to go, the first one's going to be in A1, the second one's going to be in A2, and so on and so forth. So to do that, I need to keep track of the row number. So we're going to dimension the row number as a long variable, which is a whole number. And also what I want to do is if there's any data in column A1, I want to clear that data. And that means if I run the macro the first time, it's going to list all the files. If I run it again, I need to clear it out. So we can do that now. Sheet one dot range A1 all the way through A. And we'll just use a large number dot clear content. So clear any file names in column. So once we have that, what I would like to do is I want to set that folder path. So that folder path, folder path is equal to paste it in there, which is this one right here. We do, however, need a backslash onto that or slash. So we're going to put that on. So full folder path. Once we have that, I want to set the row number. What is that initial row number? That initial row number is we're going to start at one set initial row number. So once we have that, I also ready to start our loop. Now we're going to loop and we're going to use a do while loop. So do while, and then we want to do something. What is it? We'll use the length of the file name. The file name is going to be the name of the file is greater than zero. So it's going to keep looping through all the files until it reaches the end. And that means the file name is zero. So now what we want to do is we must close our loop, always do that. So what we're going to do is inside the file, first I want to display the file name. So where is it? It's going to end up in sheet one dot range. A is where I want to put it. What is the row number? and the row number that's that variable that we have the value of that's going to be equal what it's going to be equal to that file name now what is that file name now that file name we will define so let's do that we have to do that up here that file name is equal to the directory of the folder path so it's a folder path and we also want to add on any specific files let's just say they contain which is going to be every file in this case so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the asterisk here dot and then the asterisk a wild card that means any file that contains the period and so basically that's every single file in your folder which is what we want now so that is going to be simply be our file name so we're going to take the entire folder path here and what we're going to do is we are going to set it based on any file within there. So that's the file name. Now the file name keeps updating. So we're going to do while the length of the file name is greater than zero. So what I want to do is I want to take that file name and I want to put it in A. After that, after I take that file name and put it in column A, I need to increment the row number. So the row number is equal to the row number plus one. So we're going to increment row number. And this one's going to be extract file name. So we're going to increment. Now what we need to do is we need to clear out the file name as we loop through each one. So the file name equals directory. So that's going to clear out file name. Very good. So let's take a look just to briefly. We're going to define these two variables as strings. The row number is going to be a long. We're going to clear out any existing data. We're going to set the folder path to exactly what we want. Then we're going to define the file name. The file name is the directory of the folder path plus any single file that contains the period. So it's going to be basically everything. So that's the first file. It's going to get everyone as a loop to the file, meaning anything after that and anything before that. So basically any file in folder. We're going to set that initial row number. We're going to start our loop and we're going to keep looping until the file name equals nothing. And we're going to take whatever that file name is. We're going to put it in A in the row number. We're going to increment the row. Then we're going to clear out the file name so that it can loop through. So that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to bring this over here and I want to assign that. So I'm just going to copy this slightly quicker. We're going to assign the macro and we're going to paste it in there. We could also select here, but if we've got hundreds of macros, it's easier to copy and paste. So now when we do that, we're simply going to click here and it's going to run. You see how quick that was. You see it listed every single file. We've got CSV files. We have the XLS and we have all the PNG files. Very good. So now we see how we can list it. 
But what about if I only want specific files, very, very specific files? How do we do that? Let's say I only want the Excel files in there or maybe the CSV. We've got different files or maybe we only want the picture files and nothing else. So how would we do that? Well, that's actually quite easy. All we need to do is just change this parameter right here. I only want very specific files, so we want to filter based on a type. So I'm going to change this to PNG. So now any PNG files in the folder. So that's what we're going to do. And what we're going to do is we're going to write now, just keep in mind that before we run it, here we have a CSV file. Here we have a TXT file, and here we have an XLSX file. So if we run that one more time, we're going to take a look and we only have PNGs. If we were to change it to the xlsx file xlsx we're going to run that and we see now that we only have the single xls so we see how the filter is working fantastic and it's extremely fast so that's a great way to loop through the files but what if we want to do additional things what if i want to move certain files or what about if i want to rename it let's go ahead and focus on that first up let's write a macro that's going to move the file so what in my desktop i'm going to create a brand new folder here and i'm just going to call this new picture folder and let's say i only want to move those that are pictures png files into that new folder so what I want is I need to copy this path here. And that's the path that we're going to use inside there. So I'm going to write a brand new macro here. Sub move pictures to another folder. Once again, we are going to loop through all the files and we're going to dimension the folder path. I'm just going to paste this in here because we're going to probably use this here and we can use that very good so we've got that here now what i'm going to do is i am going to set the folder path which is going to be here and the initial folder path is this one here so we're going to do the folder path i'll do the same exact folder path and we're going to paste that here what i would like to do now is i want to set our loop so just like that we can actually copy everything here for now copy everything here and then we'll make the adjustments accordingly. So I'm going to paste that in here. But now we don't necessarily need a row number in this macro because I'm not going to be tracking them here. And I also am not going to be putting them inside there. So we don't need these lines so we can move that. But what we do want to use is a function called name as. And so basically all we need is the original path and the destination path. Now, since we're going to be using PNGs, we do need to change this to PNG as we want to move all of our picture files to a new folder. So move picture files to new folder. So what we want to do is use that name as function. So name. Now, the first path is the current or original path. That is going to be the folder path and the file name. So this is the original path as the next portion is our destination path. What is the destination? So the destination is right here. We've already got it here. So we're just going to bring this up and this is our destination. And of course we do need to put on the backslash here. And now what we want to do is the file name. So in this instance, we are setting our original file path, determining the file name. We're going to run a loop just as we did before. We do need to clear this out just as we have here. We're going to take its existing path and we're going to rename it to the new path, which is here. And all we need to do is simply run that macro or use F5. Let's take a quick look at the folder now. It's empty here. So as soon as we run it, let's do this in the background here so we can see it happening. So as soon as we run that macro here, all of the files come here. So we see only those PNGs, everything is now in it. If we look back in our desktop here and we look back in our pictures here, we see that we only have the files that do not contain that. So only the non PNG files are left in our folder and we have moved everything over into our new folder here, which is our new picture folder here. And we look in that and we see our new picture folder now contains all of the pictures and only those pictures and nothing else. So here we've seen now how we can not only move the files, but we can actually uh, move selected file types. So we don't necessarily need to move all. Very good, but what if I decide I want to rename these files? Let's try this again. I'm gonna use Control A, Control C. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna paste these in here and I'm gonna put them back in here. So we can see they're all back in here as we move. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go inside and I'm just gonna clear it out. What I would like to do is I'd like to rename these. Maybe I wanna add something onto that name or maybe I want to give them unique names. So I'm going to delete them. Not only do I want to move them, I want to rename them. So how can we do that? Well, once again, we can use the name as function. And instead of the original file name, we can append that if 
we want to give them unique names. So how would we do that? So the file name, of course, is defined here. But what I want to do is I want to rename. So let's do something like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dimension here. Let's just say our file number as long. So we've got a long variable and we're going to set the initial file number equal to one. So that's our initial file. Now what we want to do is instead of the file name, I want to give them a distinct name. And instead of moving them, I want to actually copy them to another folder. So how would we do that? And for that, we can use the file copy function. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to, in fact, I want you to have both macros, right? Not just the one. So I'm going to copy this here and then we're going to paste it in here. And this one, we're going to have copy pictures to another folder and rename. So it's a little bit different and rename. So now instead of the name as we are going to use the file copy command. So the file copy here, if we see this, we have the source and then the comma and then the destination. So I'm not using as we're using the comma. So now we're going to copy them from this folder. We are going to paste them into this folder, but I do want to rename them. So what is the destination? In this case, I want to use something a little bit different. I'll use picture and our picture number. So we'll do file number and dot PNG. Very good. So that's exactly how we do. Once again, we're setting the folder path, the file name. We're going to use the file copy command. We're going to the source. We're going to put them in the destination and we're going to be very specific about the path. We're going to set a unique file number. Since we are adding the file number, we of course will need to increment the file number just like we did here. So what we want to do is we just need to increment. This time it's going to be the file number. So let's do that. So we're going to set the file number equals file number plus one. So increment file number. Very good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over a little bit here and I want to bring up that folder so that we can watch it in action. So I'm going to bring up that folder here. Here's our folder here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run this macro by pressing F5. And what it's going to do, it's going to copy all the files over, giving them very specific names as it does. Instead of actually moving them, we are actually copying them over. If we look back in our original folder, we see that we still have the original pictures with their original names. So in this case, we have actually moved them over. We could do that very easily. Now let's say we don't have a new folder here. We've done the new picture folder, but let's add it using VBA and do all of that. So instead of a new picture folder, I'm going to just delete this folder here and I want to create that new folder directly inside this path. So I want to go into the desktop here and I want to actually create that folder. So how do we do that? What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this here and go back into the desktop here. Now what I would like to do is I would like to add that brand new folder directly inside using VBA. So how do we do that? We use the make directory command. So MK and then we're going to use directory. And then what is the directory that we're going to be creating? What is that path? Well, the path is going to be this path here. And then we're just going to call this brand new folder. So that's exactly what we're going to be creating. So the brand new folder is the folder in which we're going to be adding those pictures. So now what we're doing is we're creating this folder and we're then adding the pictures. So we can do that also. And I'll fix that and bracket there. Okay, very good. So now we're actually using VBA to create the new folder and then we're adding the pictures to that new folder. Let's see how that can work. So what we're going to do is once again, I'm going to run this macro and we're going to see that brand new folder added and then the pictures added into that. So we're going to run this macro here and then we're going to take a look inside that. Now we see that we have the brand new folder has been added here and all the pictures are added in here. So we see how we can also add new folders, change the names, copy files, loop through files, and do a bunch of really cool stuff with very small and easy macros. I hope you have enjoyed this training. I create these each and every week. If you do like these, don't forget to download, subscribe, comment below. I respond to each and every comment every single day because I really do appreciate your ideas, your feedbacks, and your comments. Let me know if you want to see something very specific in a training video. Go ahead and grab this template. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next week.